At this point, it is actually important for you to understand how to prepare geometry to add a thickness or shell it so we can 3D print it later. Because this is actually quite useful to know before you go into design, so you know some of the limitations and what you have to look out for. I have a very basic design here. You see I joined actually the handle and then I added two fillets and I would like to give this a thickness. You can for example give this a thickness simply via the thickness command because this is right now an open surface. Maybe minus two millimeters material thickness. Click OK. And there now we have a 3D object that can be printed because this has a thickness. If we, for example, split it, you split minus this one, yep. And we have two sides. And if we go in and take a look, let's see what happens. You see that the fillets are getting smaller when we uh, offset to the center. So uh, let's go back to here and simply say I would like to offset this one by six millimeters. Let's see if this will work. It does, okay. This is actually math-wise a pretty complicated task, so you want your stuff to be as simple as possible. So the easier the geometry, the easier the software has to solve stuff. You see down here, <laughs> there is like some wobble stuff going on. Uh, that could be problematic, but Fusion didn't complain. And he, you see here the fillet actually is straight, or there's no fillet anymore, it's a sharp edge, so it's gone. But it doesn't matter too much because this is actually the inside. We only will touch something on the outside. So the inside can really be very simplified. So that's one way how you can create the fillet. But there are certain uh, steps you can or should remember. So ah, I forgot to actually create those. So hold on. And okay, and this is a question Jason brought up. So what's the proper sequence? So I will trim with this tool this hole. Okay, and it's gone. Perfect. You and you height. Okay, so now there we have this hole. And I will now go ahead and give this one a thickness. Minus two. Okay. So let's go back to that particular hole. And let's peek through. And you see actually how actually the, the opening was created. So if we trim the surface first and then add a thickness, the hole actually will be perpendicular to the surface and will not follow actually the direction of the pipe. Now if I want the pipe as it were created to be cut out, here let's simply select this one. I will have to turn this one quickly into a solid so it's easier to do. There and then you, you and you, stitch. And now I can go to patch and say you minus this one, delete, okay. Let's take a look and there you see now this really cuts them through. So again to to summarize this, try to always have a very simplified geometry so that maybe afterwards we can do then the shelling 
effectively without any problems. We can always afterwards then do those fillets maybe after the shelling and we'll sh show you in a second how we do this and then based on if you have openings you want to cut in either we trim the surface and then shell and then we get holes that are perpendicular or we shell and then we cut the shapes out and then we basically get the opening exactly lined up the way how our cutting tool is also for those objects I have here in this file you see I I actually cut all these elements out so if I would go ahead now and say um, shell because this is a solid so I can use the, sh uh, the thicken command I will use the shell command I can use this front face because it's flat and then say two millimeters shelling doesn't really have like minus because it goes to the inside anyway and you see this one is going to work a lot this might not have been a good idea to do because I could actually send fusion into a long uh, crunch of work but the problem I basically did was I uh, had my object, then I cut all these noodles out via the combine, and then I wanted to shell it. Thank you, Fusion, for not cr uh, crashing. So what I rather want to do is I take my basic object. No, I shell this one, maybe three millimeters. Ding pretty fast maybe two let's see if this actually will work and you see this is a nice volume out of this volume now there I can actually cut all those out and okay give it a second there okay perfect so i hope this makes sense however what you need to be very careful about is let's turn on the section view uh, here and then move this one in it's the material thickness so if we have if we have a small groove that's not much of a problem but you can see that i removed nearly 50 percent of the material so there's only one millimeter left if this is going to be half a millimeter or a quarter millimeter the surface will be fragile so when we cut things in there really be be careful about it uh, that your inside area is thick enough for specifically the prototyping there are other techniques we can do but also for manufacturing, um, there are also other requirements, but since we make everything for a 3D printer, if you work with a material thickness of 2, max 3 millimeters, it will be pretty strong. And then you have enough space, for example, to cut something in. Okay, so last thing to go back. I wanted to show what we can do with these fillets. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's also okay. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. There, this is gone. Let's show this one. Okay, that's our, our element. Perfect. So, this one I will... Isn't this joint? Yes, it is joint. Okay, so, thicken. wrong mode thicken minus two k and I will turn on the section view okay so now you see we have actually sharp edges in the inside which is fine and now we can actually do our filleting. So I will fillet this outside and we set maybe 10 millimeters. Let's make a big one. 
or maybe let's go eight. And there you see, now well, that works, but man, we create a lot of wasteful material there. Okay, so we could also, to make the whole process like for shelling a little bit faster, you see, we simplify it and then we fill it each corner a little bit. Did I use six here? Let's see, eight millimeters. Okay, good. Yeah. This properly will be six. Oh, 10. Yeah, so if you ask myself, why 10? Well, the outer radius is eight for the fillet. The material thickness is two millimeters, eight plus two, 10. So now these arcs are more parallel. We have, for example, to do the same here to make this actually stronger. So let's say two millimeters, let's say four, so it's bigger. Uh, cord length, two, three, okay. Perfect, let's go in. And you can see it gets a little bit thinner here. So question now is the way how we broke the sharp edge, will this be structurally an issue? In our case, I would guess not really, but for example here, if we now round this one, we will add material back. So in the first fillet, we removed excess material, not to be wasteful, and here we add the fillet to add material to get the material thickness back. Okay, and that is basically shelling, either a surface or a solid in a nutshell. There's not really much to it besides all the different tips I showed you, and literally the biggest uh, biggest tip is really first save before you do a shelling because shelling can be very time consuming or crash application or freeze it and you think it's crashed so we force quit it because it's just again very very math uh, intensive and try to really give the shelling or thicken command very easy surfaces and then kind of like what I did here with the fillets do then detail work afterwards.